All right, you guys, welcome. Today is going to be super, super tough. So as you can see, I have my mat turned sideways because you need a smooth surface in order to let your body slide. So wood floor is great, tile, linoleum. I have um, concrete down here, but it has been painted or you know covered somehow. So find something that you can slide nicely on because that's essential for this workout. As you see, I got leggings on, a shirt, and I'm even wearing socks today because you don't want to get any uh, tile burn on the tops of your toes. So if you are dressed and ready to go, we are going to do five minutes down on our forearms and then five minutes up on our hands, all with these sliding exercises. And we may top it off with a little bit of lolasana drills at the very end. So this is all about the core, but it's also about building strength through the shoulders, through the upper back, through the hip flexors. So really total body here. All right, so let's not delay any longer. Let's go ahead and get it started. We are going to do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest for five minutes on the forearms, and then we'll move to the hands. All right, so the first exercise is going to be mountain climbers down on our forearms, letting the legs kind of pump in and out. Now I find it's easier to be on the tops of the feet rather than toes tucked. So are you ready? I am. Let's get this going. Five minutes is on the clock until I mess it up. All right, let's go. So mountain climbers on the tops of the feet. Make sure that you are pressing out of the shoulders, a little rounding through that upper back. Pulling those knees in as high as you're able to. So it doesn't matter if you're fast or slow, just keep going. And always, always keep breathing. We got five more seconds. Don't give up. Keep working. Last one and rest. Okay, so just so you know the next one and you're ready to go, we're still gonna be down on the forearms, tuck the toes, and we're just gonna slide the right leg up and out. Then the next exercise will be the left. So 15 more seconds. Maybe, you know, sitting up in a hero's pose or resting in child's pose in between. If you need that, calming your breath, slowing it down on purpose so that you are ready to work when it's time to go. Oh, here we are, let's go. On the forearms, right leg out. Now, if you're not flexible enough to get your leg, you know, in line with your shoulder, just opening up as much as you're able to. Now, I'm staying on the top of the left foot, but you could tuck the toe as well. Either is quite difficult to do what you want to do. Keep going, stay strong. Three seconds, two, Last one, and rest. Woo! Sometimes using this sliding technique can be really, really challenging, super engaging. I like to throw it in there every now and then, when, now and again, when I feel like maybe I'm losing a little bit of my strength and taking it a little too easy on myself. It's a great little exercise to throw in here and there. And you can do it easy in the kitchen when you're making dinner anytime. All right, last second. On the forearms, left leg, slide it out. Keep that rounding through the upper back. I don't want to see you dump and drop your chest to the floor. So stay strong through the shoulders. Pull that belly button in. So I'm getting a foot cramp, so I gotta flex the foot now. Still hard, still working. But like I was saying, belly button in. Low belly tucked and lifted. Last three. Last one, and lower. Very good. All right, it's gonna get a little bit more challenging for the next two. So the next one that we're going to do is a tuck position. We're going to slide the legs in, curling up into a little ball, hold a tight tuck, and then extend them out. So tuck it in, curl, send it out, hold. Tuck it in, hold, send it out. So don't drop down in between, stay strong and lifted. Last two seconds of rest. And here we go. Get in that forearm plank, pull it in, send it out. Nice and slow, careful. Keep that rounding through the upper back, but doing serious work. You're doing so good. I know how hard this is. It is not easy. It is not for the wimpy. You are really tough. Hang in there, last one. And let's rest. You're gonna need it because we still got that pike position to do. All right, so instead of tucking the knees in, 
we're gonna keep the legs straight and shoot the hips up. Here is a little demonstration. So legs out, hips up high as I tuck it in, extend it out. All right. So I'm gonna play with seeing if I like it better on the tops of the toes, toes tucked. You do you. I know if you stay in one position too long, you get that foot cramp. So just do what you can. Keep working. All right. Tops of the toes, hip side. What do I think? Toes tucked, hip side. They're both hard. Doesn't matter. Maybe alternate it. I think they drag a little nicer on the tops of the feet. But you know, everybody has their preferences. And one is not better or worse than the other. Last one, and rest. All right. We're gonna do all this all over again, but instead of on the forearms, we're gonna be up on the hands in that plank position. All right, so we still got 15 seconds. We're gonna start with those mountain climbers, fast or slow, doesn't matter, they all work. If it is burning, if it is hurting, if you're like not liking this, you are doing it right. So pat yourself on the back, say good job. I'm hanging in there. All right, here, five minutes is set, get that plank. Mountain climbers and go. Keep pumping those knees in. Strong through the shoulders. Try a little turbo speed for a minute. See how that feels? Yeah, it's intense. Ain't anybody going to show up at your door, last five, and push you. It is your job to decide that you want it, last two, and last one. And it's your job to follow through and do it. So you have to be your own disciplinarian, your own coach, and there's no better person to do it. Because if you want it, you gotta put in the work. Good for you for showing up. All right, we got 15 seconds left. We're gonna bring that right leg out and back and in. Bringing it out as far as you're able to, keeping that belly pulled in, that push, that rounding through the upper back, long straight leg. Here we go, last two seconds, and let's do it. Right leg out and in. Working a little bit of that side waist as you crunch that leg up and in. You think, oh, this one's not so bad. I can do this, and then you get halfway through and you're like, okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling it through the hips. I am feeling it through the hip flexors. Last five seconds, hang in there, keep working. Last one and rest, knees down. Oh, it's tough. It's tough, but so are you. So don't say a different thing, don't tell you that story, I can't, it's too hard. It is hard, it's meant to be hard. We didn't sign up for something easy because we want growth, right? So accept that burn, that pain, almost enjoy it because it's not gonna last. And then you get to really deserve, earn that couch time tonight after dinner. All right, last two seconds on the hands, left leg. Now, I mean, I'm female, obviously, and I'm doing this workout, but it is not just for women. This is certainly a great workout for men too. Lots of body awareness here. Be great for teens. I could see gymnasts, cheerleaders, swim, all kinds of athletes using these sliding techniques to build strength through the shoulders, the back, the legs, the abs. Last two seconds, guys, hang in there. Strong legs. My right leg is shaking. All right, lower it down. Let's rest. It's about to get harder, right? That tough position is tough. So I'll give you a little reminder of what that's gonna look like. You start in that plank, curl it in and tuck. Curl it in and tuck. So we're not lifting the hips high. We're keeping the hips low, suck it into a tight ball and then extend it back out. Oh man, five seconds left. Just kidding, already two now. Let's do it, we got work to do, let's get it done. Knees to nose, belly button to spine. I'm telling you what really helps is that push. You really have to push through the shoulders in order to create space, to create room for those knees to come in. This is hard. I know it. I'm with you. You've got this. Last three seconds. You can do it. Last one. 
Make it happen. There we go, we got rest for 25 more seconds. And then we got that pike work. So this may be the hardest one. My forearms are starting to really talk to me. Definitely gonna have to stretch it out when this is done. But with that pike one, we start in the plank, pull the hips up as you pull the low belly in. So as you push, really shove the floor away. All right, let's do it. Suck that belly in. Pike it up, Woo. send it back. Hips high, belly in, legs out strong. I know even with my socks on, I'm feeling a little bit of floor burn. Maybe next time I use uh, wool socks. I can't slide as nice on the tops of the toes. Push and extend. Last two, you can do it. Last one, hips high, Woo. and lower it down. Let's rest for 30 seconds. And then if you've done my lolasana drills, I have a tutorial on here called How to Do Lolasana. And I do some Lola drills. It's tough. Even if you could hold Lolasana, it's really hard. Super good for the core, the shoulders, the hips. All that stuff we're doing today. So let's put that cherry on top, seal the deal, so that you wake up tomorrow going, oh my God, what did I do? Well, that's right. Those sliding drills. I'm doing that again because <laughs> it works and I feel it. All right, so we're gonna start in kind of a tucked position. Hands outside of the knees, slightly forward. And as we push the floor away on tops of the toes, so not tucked toes, not toes tucked, tops of the toes, we're gonna push the floor away, tuck it in really tight. All right, let's, uh, let's aim for 20. See how that goes. Do the best you can. If you gotta slow down, you slow down, but you don't quit, right? Here we go, let's count it out. One, two, Push, three, four, five, we, six, can, seven, eight, do, hard, things that's 11, you got it, 12, keep going, 13, 14, 15, almost there, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, come on, 20, oh. There we go. Slow that breath back down. Soften the shoulders. Let them fall away from the ears. Slow your breath down. Very, very good work today, guys. That was amazing. So if you are like superhuman and you're not panting, please repeat it, do it again. Tell me that you are hitting it twice, I'm gonna cheer you on. If you are struggling, that's okay. Accept the struggle. Sit with it, accept it, appreciate it. You are doing the work that you need to do to get strong, so pat yourself on the back. Do not be discouraged. That's how we grow, that's how we get stronger. We struggle and then we overcome, right? Yes, I'm Kelsey, I'm Kelsey Yogi here on YouTube and on Instagram, doing all kinds of hit yoga, type stuff with you. You guys are amazing today. Please make sure that you smash that subscribe, that like, come back again and again and again and practice with me. Share this on your social media. It means the world to me. I really appreciate it, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have an amazing day. Namaste.